Thomas Mayer, he's a Swiss author, a very successful one. Uh, his bestseller Wolkenbruch just came out as a movie, but uh, I would like to talk about something else because uh, recently I bought this book here, which has 144 conclusions that you do maybe, I guess, out of life. I would like to read some of the sentence you wrote and for you to comment. So one is, uh, wanted to become rich is vulgar. Of course, all those insights or conclusions or however you want to call it, um, they're a bit brought to the point, so to speak. And of course, reality is more complex and, and has more shadows. But I think wanting to become rich as itself is very vulgar. And in uh, this regard, also about becoming rich, let me see. In German, man lässt den Reichen alles durchgehen, weil man hofft, irgendwann auch einer von ihnen zu sein. We are very tolerant towards rich people because we think that one day we're going to be one of them. And this, when, when, you, um, when you have a look at how people vote, um, it's always in favor of rich people, and I think, and I think we do that because we hope that, and we also think that it's possible, that one day we're going to be rich too. So we're voting for ourselves. We're actually voting for ourselves because we we um, we want to be like them. So we think, what would I do if I were rich now? And of course, all those initiatives that are social um, never, never have, um, never, never become successful. I think that's the reason because people, for for one, they're they're scared by the propaganda, because um, the rich people, whenever a, a social initiative is on the table, they say, if you're going to say yes to that, you're going to lose your job. And people are, oh, I don't want that. So they, they won't know, but I think they also do it because secretly they see themselves as soon to be rich people. Okay. We have the, the, the Euro Millions lottery and surprisingly many people um, talk about what they would do with if, if, they, if they won that amount of money. That's true. Many people take part in this and, and have that dream of being rich. So you visualize it all, all the, the time. time. And I think visualizing is, is a very strong force. But um, I also think there's, there's, a, there's a, an interesting difference between wanting something and thinking thankfully about a possibility of something. Here you say, I want this, and here you say, it would be nice if I had it. And I think this has more energy. Viele halten sich für liberal und sind bloß desinteressiert. So many think they're liberal, mm -hmm. but in truth they're just not interested. Well, I think that, um, the right word would be indifferent. Oh, indifferent, yeah. I've met a few people who would think of themselves as liberals, mm -hmm. tolerant, progressive. But if you, if you really listen to them, they just don't really care about what's going on around them, what's going on with nature mm -hmm. and, and um, poor people mm -hmm. or the third world or the context of it all. And I think if, if you, you have the, you know, the aura of a, of a liberal person, it's, it's something we all want. Right, we want to be smart and, and uh, generous and, and whatnot. But um, I think uh, li liberalness is mostly indifference in disguise. You also have one of the sentences which I remember off the top of my head. It's uh, that traveling alone doesn't make you wiser. It doesn't, I think. Travel is not confined to going to other countries. I think you can also travel other people's minds. I think a deep, deep conversation is worth much more than a short trip into another city because mostly what people do when they travel is just spending money in a different place. They go shopping in London, they go shopping in St. Petersburg. 
this is not travel. I can travel here and learn much more than visiting airports. Even reading a book, good book. Yes, that's also a very nice kind of travel. Okay, Thomas Mayer, thank you very much. Thank you.